Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a front runner roof car tent on top of my Toyota RAV4 2021 and we are going to test how easy it is to mount it on top of the roof, to open it up, unpack it, to sleep in it, then to pack it back and take it down. So this will be a full comprehensive review. Hopefully you enjoy it. The way this works is first you ins insert this metal rod in here. Then you add this cover to make it nice and flush. Then you put the, the beam on there, put a little washer here, put the screw on here, tighten it so that it doesn't fly off. Then you put this cover on there. For these covers, you can also uh, lock them. I would also like to add a disclaimer by saying that it's important you read your car manual to understand what model of roof crossbars fit with your car what are your car's static and dynamic weight limit loads for the roof? After I got the roof bars ready, it was time to put the tent up on the bars. The tent was quite heavy, weighing at 43 kilos, which is about 93 pounds. In fact, it is one of the lighter tents on the market. After four of us loaded it up, it was time to attach it. As far as attaching it went, it was pretty straightforward. I wrapped the crossbars with a cushion-like material to prevent them from getting scratched. Step 3 was to pre-drill the ladder holes. Every car has a different height and it's important that you match your car's height with the roof pin on top of it. This requires extending the ladder out and determining where to drill the holes. It's very straightforward and the tent's manual also has a step in the instructions. This is the spot where we're going to be camping tonight. I brought a water leveling instrument. We are leveled. If you look at the tires, I had to level the car. This is all I could find some wood. So you got these two buckles here. Take them out, it's a little tricky sometimes to take them out. There we go. And then there's a zipper here. Kind of tied in. So you go and you unzip the whole thing. It's a little tricky if it's a tall car. Unzip, take this down. One right here, and then one right here, same one. And you grab the ladder like this, and you lose, use it as leverage. You pull down on it, and it flips it over. There you go. And you got these little two knobs. And what I had to do yesterday, I had to drill in two holes here. For the height of this car so they the manufacturer actually lets you drill holes um, into the ladder because every car is a different height so nicely click it in there because the ladder also supports um, supports the weight of the tent now i have to attach the tent with these metal rods so that it's nice and upright can actually get to the doors below the tent. All you have to do is push this cover below the tent and above the door, and then you can easily open. So that's kind of neat. What you can do is you can tighten these straps if it were to be windy. And also you could find something and you could tie down the tent with strings on the ground if it was too windy, but I don't think that's necessary. Hey, right, let's go in. It's nice that you can roll up the case and attach it here. This is how the mattress looks. You want to flip the mattress like this. There you go. Oh, nice and comfy. Nice you have a two ceiling windows, one window here, one window there, the entrance. And you also have a big window here that you can open and you have a net. pockets here and pocket here you can attach like a lamp here headlamp <laughs> it's 
It's gonna be comfortable. Nice. Oh. Hello. We got coffee. We already put our blankets and pillows inside. Put the bed sheets. Looks nice and comfortable. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We survived our first night in a car tent and I'll give you my first thoughts and opinions and reviews shortly but all in all pretty good look we got a new guest overnight that joined us but yeah it was not bad it was actually much better than expected so very uh, positively surprised <laughs> All in all, we had a very good experience with trying out a car tent for the first time in our life. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars for sleeping comfort. A van and sleeping inside a car is always more comfortable as it is warmer and quieter. Other than that, this was great. I give it a 3 out of 5 stars when it comes to the ease of mounting and unpacking it. I give it a 4 out of 5 in terms of the value you get for the money invested. And finally, it gets a 1 out of 5 in terms of stealth and being incognito when camping. I would imagine in the winter it could get cold inside of the tent and I can't decide whether being above ground is a better or worse source of insulation. Perhaps you're insulated from water, but I feel like the ground keeps the bottom of the tent warmer. At the end of the day, it really depends what budget you have, what car you own, and what experience you're looking for. I would say that van life and vans are number one when it comes to car camping, especially in countries with highly developed road infrastructure and campsites, where sleeping inside of your car may be more efficient and stealthy. Now, if you own a four-wheel drive or an SUV and have a solid roof, this may makes sense for when visiting friends or camping out at festival events or if you need to put in a quick or two one or two nights of sleep if you live in locations with access to remote nature such as africa south america australia or parts of asia then it might make sense to have a car that tent as it protects you from the elements and off-road cars get to places easier than vans so everything has a trade-off as i mentioned and it depends what you're planning to do and what budget you have I did like how comfortable the mattress was and how it was high above the ground. It was more than spacious for sleeping two of us and it's nice to have space inside the car to carry things or drive for people when needed because when I sleep inside the car there's not enough room for other people or things or to even lounge and sit around. Here we could lounge outside beneath the tent area and that was really neat. Well I hope you enjoyed this first time sleeping in a car tent review and let me know what your thoughts are on a car tent versus van life versus sleeping inside of your car versus camping outside. As always subscribe to see more of my videos and reviews. Thanks for watching.